police in Indiana rushed to a skateboard park to rescue someone. Oh, no. Not, not from a gnarly skateboarding injury, oh, but, okay. but to rescue them from the sewer. <laughs> Cops and first responders in Evansville were called out to Sunset Skate Park, where they were told a woman had gotten into the sewer and was just wandering around underground. Oh. Well, it has been hot out. I maybe mean, it's cool down there. Maybe. It's unclear how she got into the sewer, but she was unable to find her way out. So researchers had to lift a sewer gate in the street and lower a rope to pull her out. When they eventually found her, police say she was not injured in the ordeal, but a lot of people have questions. Come towards the light. <laughs> maybe she was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Uh, maybe. Just looking for pizza. She said she uh, she knows all the best underground places in town. Oh, nice. They said she was physically drained. Really? Is that your favorite line? It's a sewer joke. <laughs> that joke belongs in the sewer. <laughs> yes, it does. A Wells Fargo location. Some knucklehead who works there accidentally left the front door open after business hours Saturday night, which tempted a man to walk in and rob the place. Oh, jeez. Well, y'all left the door open. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to get anything other than a trip to jail. 33-year-old Colton Van Hostentine Nine Tine. Van Hunsenting Tine. He's got a long-ass name. He noticed the open door and he got the idea to go in. But before he did, he thought to run across the street to a convenience store to buy a mask so that no one would recognize him on the security camera. <laughs> the bank's cameras captured the video of him walking around the bank, looking through drawers for cash, but he couldn't find anything. It was all securely locked up. So he left and figured he was in the clear. However, the convenience store across the street had surveillance cameras as well. Oh. We caught a real good look at his face when it came time to buy the mask. <laughs> First off, what convenience stores are selling masks that you can use to burglarize places? Maybe they had some. Like, Aren't they leftover... some of the worst places to get burglarized? Convenience store? Maybe they had like leftover COVID masks or something. Uh, maybe. The bigger question is why the bank leave the front door unlocked? Right? Y'all come on in. We got an open door policy. All are welcome. Yeah. Those are your knuckleheads. Find those stories wherever you follow us on social media. Search Mel and Scott in the morning.